continue our coverage here in Southern Colorado. And for the family of one Pueblo veteran, the sound of taps is actually a way to honor and remember his sacrifice. News 5's Natalie Chuck has more now on this family's tribute. Here at Veterans Bridge at the Pueblo River Walk, a Memorial Day service happens every single year. But this year, one special veteran was missing. Now, he is one of the fallen veterans we honor on Memorial Day. An unmistakable sound, taps ringing through Pueblo on Memorial Day. I think it just adds a an oomph and a spark to the ceremony. But for Paula Eberhardt, hearing the sound from the trumpets this year hit home. I've uh, heard it many times, uh, but uh, not, hmm, maybe a little more so since he's gone. Her late husband was the man behind the music. Paul Eberhardt was supposed to be playing taps at this ceremony, but died from sepsis just three months before at 73 years old. I don't think there's any place that we went in town, like if we went to dinner or um, just to the grocery store, there was always somebody there that knew him. After splitting his 20 year career with the Air Force between Peterson Air Force Base and the Air Force Academy, Eberhardt left his mark on Pueblo, becoming a music professor at CSU Pueblo. I used to call him my trumpet grandpa. <laughs> Philip Ortiz Gonzalez was one of Eberhardt's last students at CSUP. He grabbed two trumpets and he'd play them and he was like the man at it because he could play something on this trumpet and then something on this trumpet at the same time. So. He's a legend for four reasons because of that and just because his personality really. A personality that left Ortiz Gonzalez with more than just music lessons. My keyboard player from the band I was with for the past 11 years, he passed away from COVID. So Al really just taught, told me like, don't, don't be sad because you'll see him again. You guys will make it to the, the big gig in the sky because he used to say that too. His most recent gig though was stepping in for Eberhardt at this year's Memorial Day service. The horn that he that I saw him play in middle school, when I was in sixth grade, I saw him playing that on the stage, and I was like, oh, I want that trumpet. That's the trumpet I want. So he sold it to me, and whenever I want to honor him now, I just play on that horn. And Paula says he lived up to her husband's standards. They did a good job. Phil did a great job, <laughs> and so did Mike. He would have been happy. Huh? He would have been very pleased. Paula and Al were married for 51 years, so of course I had to ask her what is the secret to marriage. She told me humor. Reporting from the Pueblo Riverwalk, Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie, thank you. Also in